Now that we have seen what chromosomal differences are linked with the sex reversal, we will discuss the changes that are related to the fitness of wood lemmings carrying a feminizing X chromosome. When there are no fertility differences and the sex ratio is not distorted by other factors, the three types of females, so XX, X feminizing X and feminizing XY females, are expected to be equally frequent and the population will consist of 75% females. But natural populations show differences in these ratios, so there is a deviation from the simplest model and there are fitness aspects involved. Overall, females with a feminizing X and a Y chromosome seem to be more fit, even though that they have, compared with feminizing XX females, 43% smaller ovaries and only 48% of the number of oocytes, this results not in a lower fitness. The feminizing XY female oocytes are larger and the percentage of growing oocytes is more than twice as high as in feminizing XX females, which could mean the feminizing XY females mature earlier. The newly born feminizing XY females are on average 8.2% heavier than the feminizing XX females. Also, feminizing XY females cluster more than others and are therefore possibly more sociable. This will give the feminizing XY females a benefit in survival. Strangely, the survival rate of male wood lemmings is a lot higher than that of the females. When young, only 20% of the population consists of males, while half of the older wood lemmings are male. It is not yet known which genes are responsible for these fitness differences, 